This is Artist Hustle, where we teach you how to build a business around your music. When you're setting up your music and you want to go ahead and sell it, you have to think about your artwork. Your artwork is so important. This is the visuals. And when you're actually working with music distribution, this can also get you rejected. So you have to understand your artwork piece. The first thing you have to think about is finding who or what is going to do the artwork for you. So either you're going to create it or you're gonna hire someone to create the artwork for you. The other thing you gotta do is set up a budget. So you gotta have a budget around your artwork, you know, uh, especially whether you hire yourself or even if you hire someone else, have a budget, understand how much you wanna spend. It depends on your marketing budget, but you definitely wanna have a budget in mind on how much you wanna spend on the actual cover art and the album art that you're doing. The other thing that's important is format. A lot of people don't talk about this because you know sometimes we forget. We just assume that we all know, but it's really important to have your art format intact. Speaking of format, so let me give you some key things to know about. You definitely wanna do J, PEG, or G, I, F for your formats. The other thing you want to do is you want to make sure it's square. You want to make sure that it's a perfect square. And you want to have a ratio. You want to have a ratio of at least 1600 by 1600 pixels in size. Okay. This is another thing about format. The other thing you got to think about is the quality of the color. So if you're doing black and white images, you have to choose the best quality RGB color mode. So that's another thing you gotta think about is the color mode. You gotta make sure that these are quality images. These are not blurry. That's something you definitely don't wanna do. And if you are using Amazon, you will need a resolution of at least 300 DPI. And this is for Amazon. So if you're selling on Amazon, that's another thing you need to know. Also, some don'ts, some things you don't want to do is you don't want to include any contact details. You want to keep this very clean. No emails, no websites, no stickers, no nothing. You And, you know, make sure that none of the images are actually cut off. It should fit within that formax uh, in, in the different platforms that you're using. And you want to make sure that there's no mentions of other logos. Just keep it very clean and simple. There's no words on it like check out my new single, new, limited, exclusive. You don't want to have any other additional things. Clean, easy, and just very just to the point pretty much. And so if you look at other popular um, artists, they actually, if you look at their cover art and it's very simple, it's very clean. It's literally them and like words. If you think about any artist that you can think of that's actually mainstream, they don't overdo it with the cover art. So that's something you need to think about when you're distributing your music is your artwork. What is, where am I going to find it? Am I going to do it myself or am I going to hire someone? How much am I going to put towards it? The formatting. And the other thing I would suggest you do is no matter what platform it is, understand the formats because that can get you flagged and that can also have your account deactivated or they may dismiss you or you may have some issues. So make sure that you understand the cover art, the visual, the formats, and how that works when you're distributing music. Be sure to check out our website, artisthustle.com and sign up for our email list, our VIP list that helps you launch, grow, and scale your music career and business. I will talk to you next time. Bye.